Hey guys, Glucia here, and today we're doing a little bit more of my Civ 5. Oh, she's another missionary. Are you kidding me with these things? Um, doing more of my Civ 5 playthrough, and today uh, I'm going to try to make it a little bit quicker of an episode. Um, to be honest with you, I only have about 20 minutes or so. I wanted to uh, head out and actually spend some time with my son. Uh, taking him to the park and stuff. I don't get to do that kind of stuff nearly as much as I would like to. Uh, YouTube and things of that nature keeps me pretty busy. So, uh, oh, I think I can hear him running up the stairs right now. He's probably going to interrupt this video, which normally I would cut out. But this time, I'll, if he does, I'll leave it in because I was just talking about him. Okay, so my, uh, my goals for today are to... <laughs> Um, get everything set up so that I'm so that on the next episode I can declare war. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna try to make it a little bit shorter this time so that I can take my kids to the park and, and hang out with them and stuff. Ooh, I am the busiest. How about that? So I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can in that amount of time. I'm gonna try to, uh, other than that uh, interruption that we just had, I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I can to uh, move as quickly as possible, get as much done as possible. Because like I said, I do want to have everything in place to declare war on the next episode and this one's going to be a quicker video that's going to be all about building up also i've been on a bit of a recording streak this is i think my fourth episode of this series while not stopping it's just been like a straight recording of the last four episodes so uh, even though for you it might have been like a week or something, whatever it ends up being for how long it takes me to post, uh, for me it's just been a couple hours as I've been sitting here nonstop doing this. So, um, I do want to take a break from recording as well, if for nothing else, just because I want to, I like getting feedback on the videos, and uh, some of the feedback that I've been getting on this series in particular has been really good it's been helpful like people saying oh no you should focus on this or you should do that or whatever whatever blah 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 and it's actually been good helpful tips that i could actually definitely use so um so yeah i want to take a break from recording so i can post a few of these episodes and get the feedback the pressure increased a little bit here for judaism that's good it'd be nice if i can get my settlers up there by the end of this episode too I mean they're moving so slow but holy crap they finished the courthouse they have been working on that courthouse for no less than a million years like crazy absolutely crazy they finally finished that wow jeez it took them so long okay cool beans okay just a second ago I thought to myself I'm gonna do oh yeah Munich I'm gonna change their production they've been doing wealth for a while now and my gold production is back in order so i'm gonna have them working on building buildings again i'm not ready to go back into uh military production yet i feel like i need to continue to grow the usefulness of my cities before worrying about that let's take a look here at berlin berlin has not done any growth lately on a land tile and i'll tell you what just because that jerks there i really want to buy that tile and i can't yet dang it but I will be able to soon, so let's... Wow, I can hear my kids, like, screaming at each other. Whenever they want something from me, that you would think that they would, like, put that extra effort in to stop being little jerks. But I can I can hear... I, you might even be able to hear them. My microphone's pretty sensitive. But they're, like, in the other room, literally, like, screaming at each other. <laughs> oh, war is broken out. Good stuff. See, now, if you had accepted my defensive pact several episodes ago when I offered it to you, you would be in better standing right now. But no, you don't need a defensive pack. Well, have fun fighting the Persians. Enjoy that. I hope that works out for you. Look at this guy. In my way. In my way. It's bad enough I can only move two turns, or two tiles per turn. Now I can only move one. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I am going to wipe the floor with these warriors. Definitely only needed to send one knight over there. That's overkill as it is. Golden Age has dawned. That's good news. That is really good news. I See, look at this jerk. Okay, the Iroquois. Does he need to have his workers and pikemen, like, right there all up in my business? Like, I don't like this guy. I swear to God. He's not good people. 
I really want to just declare war on them so I can take that and see if I can negotiate peace, honestly. Just to get rid of that damn city. And, even though I don't need it, I would probably keep it just so he couldn't build it there again. Alright, so the warriors are almost gone. The settlers are almost there. That was another one of my goals for this episode. I'm definitely, uh, looks like I'm ready to take over this little island. And I'm surprised that nobody's on it, to be honest with you. It doesn't have a ton of resources, but it does have some nice resources. And it's a nice little spot way up on the north side of the thing. Like I said, it helps to control this waterway here. It does a lot of different things for you. So, yeah, I'm surprised that no one has taken it. And I'm looking forward to taking it for my own. Okay, I really want to make this Grand Temple. Uh, apparently I need a temple in two more Arhus and uh, Tarsus Tarsus so we'll get to work on that definitely want a harbor so that that city that I'm getting ready to make way up in the north will eventually be connected hold on uh, yeah sure open borders look at this he's got spearmen in my land now and so, oh, settlers, you freaking jerk. He's looking to have a second. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, wow. I just had all those amazing luxuries go away, and I'm now at negative one happiness. I was at, like, 20 happiness or whatever, like, just a minute ago. That sucks. Sucks pretty hard. Damn it. Man, I was really enjoying all that happiness that I was getting there for a while, but uh, those those days are gone. At least I've been getting some culture from taking out the barbarians, because my culture sucks. Like, it's so bad. Oh, he can be upgraded now. To what? Ooh, Caravel. Return to home. Return to home. When those workers are done, I'm going to start sending them up, too. If I can get artillery before anybody else and get my cannons upgraded to artillery, then that should be a huge game over type scenario where I'll be really setting myself up for success there. I'm going to take the crap out of that city. I tell you what, I might even just declare war on him before... Uh, I might even declare war on him before I declare war on... Per just because he's right there. He's like all up in my business. He's getting ready to make another city somewhere down there now. It's like, come on, man. You're all up in my business. Why do you need to be... Why do you need to be like that? Kalagne. I know that's not the way to pronounce it. Don't get all up and out of shape. It's not Kalagne. You're so stupid. Alright. Heal him up. And then send them back down. They don't need to be all up there. Do I still need to focus this guy on... F wow! Are you serious? You got your population to three, and now once again, you're not growing. Even I have you on food focus, and you're not growing. That is outstanding. Screw it. Let's get him on production focus, so at least he builds something. I have to accept it. I don't want to, because he's trapping all over my crap, but I need to, because like, he's blocking my waterways, and I need to get stuff up to that island still. It's, it drives me crazy, because I don't want open borders with him. He's a big jerk. <laughs> He's a big meanie, and I don't like him. Meh. I did get my happiness to a positive, so that's good. That was a big goal of mine. It's, it's barely positive, but it's positive. And when things are barely positive, they don't stay positive for long. So I'm going to have to continue to work on it. But we are getting there. It's good that my defensive buildings give me happiness, because then it's really dual purpose. I mean, having defensive buildings is always a good thing. It'll make things easier later on if I have to deal with counter counterinsurgents and stuff like that. But, uh... In the meantime, it's giving me happiness, so... Oh my god, my wife just came home from uh, from work, right? And so she opened the door to, to check on me, and if I'm... She's really good at it. She opens the door really quietly, and she'll kind of just look at me and mouth the words, are you recording, you know? And it's just like... So I just... And I do like... I have like a hand motion that means, yes, I'm recording. So she's... So then she just kind of makes like the okay face, you know, and, and starts to back away. And, um... Oh, wow, I got gifted a cannon. That's a nice gift. You guys are so nice to me. You're the greatest. I just, I, it's so ugly, but you're so good to me. Um, but so my door's been closed for a while now because I've been recording, and my office is a heater box, especially this time of day. 
Um, my computer is huge. It generates lots of heat. My video card is bigger than some people's laptops, and it, it generates unreal amounts of heat. Uh, so when my door is closed, the heat can really build up in here. My reptiles love it. I got two lizards and I got a frog. I mean, they love it when it gets hot in here. But And then this time of day, it's like late in the afternoon. Uh, it's 4 p.m. at the time of recording this. And my office is on the west side of my house. Holy crap. He's got two missionaries coming over here. Settlers. This guy is moving in. I don't like this one bit. Not one freaking bit i'm gonna have to declare war on this guy really i think i'm gonna declare war on this guy before darius i i think that's what's gonna have to happen because he's moving in another set of settlers he's gonna try to squeeze in a third city somewhere on this damn island uh continent now screw this crap i'm repositioning my troops we are going to war that's all there is to it because i don't like this not one damn bit there's way to look at this look at this where does this guy like there's a musket man just there for no reason hey i'm a musket man i'm here yeah, I'm repositioning my troops. Uh, another settler out here. Another... E oh, my God. Yeah. This is... Okay. Actually, that could be a good thing. If he puts a city right there, I'll, I'll take it. That's it. I'll just... I'll take that. That'll be the first city I take from him. And then my troops will start to move and, and adjust from there. So, I'm not going to start moving them too, too much yet because I'm not sure. I'll... Probably what I'll do is I'll just switch some of them around so that the range are behind uh, I don't think he's gonna be able to move two turns so we'll I'm just gonna be switching all these guys around basically whoop that's not what I wanted to do these guys can start moving in you wait wait yeah I don't I don't like it that's just that's all there is to it I don't like it uh, I'm going to move everybody, too. And the knights, for now, I'm going to send down here, as well as my musketmen. And then I'm going to just leave the pikemen so that somebody's up here, because I don't want them to not have anybody. The general, he needs to head out. I'm anticipating war breaking out. So at this whole time, I've been building up forces and you know working on all that. I thought it was because I was going to start war with the Persians, but it looks like it's going to be the Iroquois. They're clearly a a powerhouse right now, and uh, but it looks like they are. Uh, it looks that to, to be honest with you, if I had to guess, like I've said it before, they've probably taken over a large chunk of their continent, and that's why they feel the need to spread to my continent now. So that doesn't that doesn't work for me. <laughs> so we need to put a stop to that. That's what I'm going to do next episode. This one ran a little bit long just because of the way things were developing and stuff I wanted to. I don't like leaving there's certain notes that I like leaving this game on. And when I finish this particular game right now, I know that I'm going to be um taking a break from the game so I can actually post these videos and get some feedback. So um It'll be a while before I get to play again. And I don't like leaving on like in like weird locations. Because sometimes, depending on like where I am when I leave a uh, when I leave the game, when I come back, it may not be clear even to me what I was doing. I'm talking about like, you know, a week goes by and then you come back in and you're like, what was I going for here? Like it's, it's, sometimes it's hard to remember. Like, what your plan was, what your strategy was in the game. And uh, that can make things awkward and difficult. So, yeah, I like setting myself up for success and being in a position that allows me to um, easily remember, okay, yeah, this is what I was doing, blah, 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 blah. And because uh, he's got troops all over the place, just like spread out. So it's important, like, I'm going to have to protect my civilians. I'm going to have to, and there's just, there's a lot of variables here. Like, there's dudes everywhere, basically. I'm going to have to clear off all the random troops that he has, like, spread out all over the place. I'm going to definitely going to take this city right off the bat and probably keep it. It's not a terrible location. There's not really a lot out there, but, I mean, there's nothing else there, so I might as well. And then, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of variables here. 
a lot of things that I need to deal with. A lot of things need to be dealt with in this uh, particular scenario. So, um, but yeah, it's it's weird sometimes. So I like to leave myself knowing what the hell it was I was working on. But I, I think this is a good enough place. Literally, like the very next turn, I will probably be uh, declaring war. So when I return. That is what you can expect. That is what you will see. So thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. And uh, when I return and when we get back onto this series, war with the Iroquois is going to break out. That guy is getting way too pushy. Uh, and he thinks I don't notice that he's moving all up into my continent. And I'm going to kick him the hell out. This could really work out good for me, too. Last like note of the video. Because if he decides to retaliate and sends large naval forces like over to me then uh, plenty of those could get picked off in the water, and then I'm beating him on my turf, and I could really put a blow against his uh, military force here at home and then send my troops over there to start chipping away at him. So the game's not working out exactly how I had originally envisioned it or imagined that it was going to work out, but it is working out. So um, hopefully you've enjoyed it so far. I've been really enjoying this gameplay i'm looking forward to continuing it just gotta take a short break so i can actually post these so i will talk to you guys on the next video laters